Hey everybody, it's Carol Billing and I'm your instructor for Education 201 and this is for the traditional class but I wanted to give you a head start. So I'm going to show you how to log into Blackboard and take a look at what we have. So I think it's easiest if you go to the school website and then just click on Blackboard here unless you have an icon set up at home. Log in if you have questions about Blackboard. This is a great area to go into and review some of the tutorials. They have some good videos on that. And um, if that doesn't work, I would go to a tutoring center. You're going to get a lot of help from students who are familiar with Blackboard about the student side of Blackboard that you're probably not going to get there, like how to set up announcements and notifications and things. Um, so I would work that angle. Those tutors know quite a bit. So, okay, more than I do. <laughs> 201, traditional. Here's the class. Um, okay, let me turn the edit mode off. This is what you'll see when you log in. We're shooting this video right now, so that will be different, but these ones are done. Um, the calendar and the syllabus review. So you're gonna want to watch those so you're aware of that information before class, and then you can bring questions to class. And that would be an effective use of time. Faculty info is here, far more than you ever wanted to know. If you do Facebook, make sure you add my page so that you can um, get the announcements or things. <clears throat> I'll post things about opportunities. Syllabus and calendar are here, so you can print those out. Fun reading. I like to own my quirks early, so there's those. Um, I don't know. I think I'm pretty easy, but um, anyway, I just thought I'd make a list there of things I might do differently than other instructors. This is the institutional syllabus, which if you read it for one class, that's um, good. It's the same in every class. If you turn in any work um, outside of class, which your journals are online, we have wikis and we have exams. I'm trying to think of the assignments. Yeah, you submit your ABE. So let's take a look. Assignments are not, there aren't a ton. Um, you, I give you supplemental information here at um, carolbilling.weebly.com and I'm going to show you that website in just a minute. Here's a couple of uh, textbook chapters in case you don't have your book right away. And the only assignment you are going to turn in is going to be your final ABE as far as like paper assignments. The other things you're going to do are journals. Um, we do a lot of in-class stuff. That's the majority of this stuff. Uh, points are earned in class so you just really need to come to class every week twice. Here are the journals though and that gives me time to look at these in a quiet, quiet setting and give you some feedback. All right, wikis. Oh, we just have the teaching presentation schedule and the topics. We'll talk about this more in class. And then the exams are here and they're all open so you can work ahead. Just remember each week we're going to talk about chapter in class and so you want to be familiar. Okay, so though that is the assignment you'll turn in there. You know how to look at your my grades, and um, you can look at these four things from your ver your view because they'll be a little different than the way that I see them. Okay, <clears throat> most important is that you are familiar with my website where I actually do the direct instruction. So it's um, carol carolbilling.weebly.com. So this is what it looks like when you first arrive. It's very fancy, I know. Um, you're going to go here to Education 201 and read through each uh, chapter as the weeks go. And so it's pretty straightforward, like chapter one. Every chapter I give you an overview, what your objectives are, objectives are a study guide, and a lecture. And um, I'd rather do the lecture here online where you can pause it and rewind it and that sort of thing than do it live in class. I'll use our class time to do fun activities that help you learn the content more deeply. Um, so these are, like this one's only five minutes, so it's not um, as in-depth as we go in class. Okay, so that's it. You'll go through each chapter here in on the Weebly. And then if you scroll down here, there's also the ABE is, um, I've got a lot of detail about that assignment. I'm going to add an, a lecture there. And here is the overview. You'll want to print this out. And what I like about this is it gives you all the details about the ABE and it also talks about the different journals and tells you the prompts. So 
this prompt you see here is exactly the same as what you see in Blackboard, but it just shows you how they kind of flow together and how you're going to build them into one assignment at the end, one paper. A little bit on OWL, some pointers for APA, um, some formatting, and then I give you some sample ABEs so you can take a look at uh, finished A papers. And then lastly is your rubric. So that is all in your um, ABA page here. You also, going down here, you'll, ah, darn it, the teaching demonstration right here, traditional and hybrid classes, same format. I'll talk about what it is the teaching presentation is and um, pointers. And I talk about writing a lesson plan, and then I've got a lecture actually here where I go over this lesson plan, plan, and I talk about why it was a good lesson plan. And then I've got some sample ones from last semester that were really good. Um, so you can look and see what is an A paper lesson plan. And so that's her lesson plan, and then here's her Prezi is right here. Here's an art assignment. And then, um, do I not have her visual aid? I'll have to look and I'll add that. Here's a math lesson plan. And then here's the PowerPoint. And lastly, lesson plan on graphs and a PowerPoint. So your teaching presentation, you're going to do in class as if we are in whatever grade you're going to teach. So let's say you're going to do second grade. Um, um, second grade science, then you'll make up a lesson plan and teach us as if we are in second grade. So that's kind of cool. So you need to have visual aid in your lesson plan. And again, we'll talk about this more in class. And then here's your rubric on how you'll be um, evaluated in the teaching part and how your final lesson plan will be evaluated. And a couple of sources there. So this website, this Carol Billing um, weebly.com is important because it has all of the hey, bae, sorry um, has all of the details about assignments and um, direct instruction for the class is in here in addition to what we do in class so you're getting a ton I know don't thank me now it's amazing I believe that's it okay I'll see you in class